Hey guys, it's John here, and welcome back to another Super Awesome Geek Show video. This time we're going to take a look at Spider-Man on Marvel Monday. I felt like going through a bunch of my Spider-Man figures, and clearly you can see which is my favorite Spider-Man costume. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we got Spider-Man through the years here. This is kind of an interesting thing. We'll take a look at each one of these Spider-Man action figures. And, uh, yeah, it's 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 through the years kind of thing. Yeah. Check it out. So maybe the first couple things we'll look at are the oddballs. Like this, um, it's like a Mega Constructs Spider-Man. And he had, like, twisty little hands here and... A head that moved. Bendy elbows, bendy knees. And I think his waist even pivots. Yeah, he even has a pivoting waist. It's the only Marvel Mega Constructs guy I've got. So he's kind of hanging out there. You know, if you're going to have one, it's going to be Spider-Man, right? Which reminds me, I have to grab something else. We have to include the Spider-Man Lego. That's right. With web shield. Yeah, he's got like a web shield. But again, he's in the same pattern. You know, red boots, blue pants. The same red and blue Spider-Man pattern there. Yep, he's just got a web shield. So we got to include him in the mix. And we have Spider-Ham, Peter Porker, Peter Porker came with, did, did he come with Gwen? He came with one of the Into the Spider-Verse characters, I think it was Gwen, Stacy, Gwen, Spider-Gwen. And now we'll get into the Through the Years. In 1984... They had Secret Wars, which was a... Now, myself, like a lot of other people, thought these were Kenner. We really, really did. But then, we were looking at these, and... It doesn't say on the back here, but we realized when we were, I was looking online at who made the Secret Wars figures, and it says Mattel did. So I was totally confused, because I could have swore it was Kenner that made these figures, but um, looking online, it says Mattel made Secret Wars, and Kenner did the Super Powers ones, which were DC Super Powers. But this guy has a head that turns... He's five POA arms and legs that move. And that was it. He's just a five POA action figure. And he's a, one of the few that doesn't have the thwip, thwip, thwip hand. He's just got a fist and an open hand to hang on to something with. I don't know if he came with an accessory or not. I actually don't know that one cool if he has an accessory. I'll have to track it down. Track it down. Come on, Mega Construct guy, stand up. The next coming through the years, Toy Biz got the license for Spider-Man for all Marvel characters. And Toy Biz came out with a number of different Spider-Man action figures. But they eventually decided that they needed one that was more articulated than any other figure that ever come before it. And they called this the multi-joint Spider-Man. He has foot joints, knee joints, the leg joint, a twist here. He has a rock in the body. 
he has the head joint, the arm, the elbow, and the hands, which was something totally, the hands and feet were something that was totally new. And the way the shoulder joint worked was something that was totally new. Because in the past, a lot of times they just went like this. They didn't have this outer joint going like that at this in this time period you know and uh so it made you it made for a lot of different poses what was this 1990 1992 is that what it says there toy biz 1992 cool spider symbol on the back spider symbol on the front and again we've got the awesome does he like flick Oh, he does. He's got flick action even, too. That's cool. So, yeah, we had the we got flick action as well, which is pretty cool. And nowadays we have the Black Series. Well, sorry, the Marvel Legends. <laughs> and we just recently got the retro spider-man the retro carded 5 po8 well a little bit more because you've got a a twist in the wrist here so he's a little bit he's one two three four five six seven seven poa i guess you could call him and he's got the hands i like that retro figure a lot i think it's really cool but, it, you know, it doesn't really match anything that's come before it. It's just done in that design, that style. This one comes with a piece of pizza. This is my Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure. And he also has a ton of articulation. He's got the feet joints. Um, a, a twist at the leg here. Double jointed knees so he can really get in there. He's got the waist joint and the the chest rock, you know. Uh, head joint bobbing up and down, turning side to side. A butterfly elbow joint and a joint in the shoulder. A bicep twist, double jointed elbows, and you've got a hand twist and bend. So you can do all kinds of things with this figure. Again, he is what you could say the multi jointed Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a spider can, spins a web just as right. <laughs> Look out, here comes the Spider Man. Now, I thought this pizza goes backwards somehow, like that, or something like that. Like he's eating a crust first. That's what I always thought. So yeah, there we go. We've looked at a bunch of different Spider-Mans in my collection. Spider-Men. And it's been pretty cool. Nice journey. So I clearly have a favorite Spider-Man costume. What, I guess I could ask, what costume do you like the best for Spider-Man? Do you like the classic one as in shown here? Or do you prefer some of the more modern Spider-Man costumes like Iron Spider or things like that? Let me know in the comments below. And then also, which Spider-Man do you think is coolest? Do you like the Lego Spider-Man? Are you into Secret Wars, Toy Biz, the Marvel Legends? Like which Spider-Man is the ultimate Spider-Man for you. Let me know. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. You've been watching the Super Awesome Geek Show. And today we've been talking about Spider-Man on Marvel Monday. See you guys tomorrow. And happy Memorial Day.